Good morning, San Antonio Drones. So here we are Saturday morning, San Marcos, Texas, San Marcos High School. Uh, what a beautiful morning. I'm out here with Chris and Corey and about 15 ROTC cadets learning how to fly drones. So I'm gonna turn off this video and we're gonna switch the camera around, go inside and see what they're Drone up to. Drone body, right? And then you have the arms coming off of it. And they're all different types of configurations in here. But what, what they all have is some type of a brain inside of it, and that's called a flight controller, okay? And that connects to a receiver, which communicates with the transmitter or your remote, okay? So it's all radio, radio controlled. So you have your flight controller, and on some of them, the, the it's all, some of them, you can control how much throttle do I need to get that lift. So if I, take it at 50% right here, it may, mine's still on the ground. My little one is still on the ground. When I get to about 60 is when it starts coming up off the ground. Now what that also means is, is as I'm getting higher, if I drop way below 50, what does that mean? It's gonna fall because I'm not giving it power, right? Okay, so we have throttle, which goes up and down. All right, and that's gonna be over here on this side. Very important. Over here, we have pitch. And that? Above, I think, 20 or 30 feet uh, for air, air traffic, um, any type of air traffic. So we actually have to abide by their rules and regulations on where we fly. We can't actually go up and fly our drones at, at, at an airport. Um, obviously because of the danger, um, as well as uh, five miles within an airport. Uh, there's some other rules and regulations. If there's a football game going on, um, let's say Friday night, we couldn't fly within, I believe, a mile. I believe so, yes, sir. Yeah, so what they call a temporary flight restriction, which they will actually... So basically, the goggles, exactly what you see here. It's a little staticky. Um, they always are. They're not real crisp because you're getting uh... so here we go about to walk inside San Marcos High School this is one of their inside training facilities but guess what it's drone day got 15 cadets learning how to fly drones there's Corey and his group down there Chris and his group right there here goes my group the best group right here What's up, boss? How you doing? Then we got the instructor right there charging up the batteries. Awesome facility, awesome people, and best of all, awesome cadets. Let's go see what these groups are up to right now. Yeah. Here we go. These guys are having a little friendly competition, trying to land Aww. in the R <laughs> in San Marcos. First time cadets flying. Loving the drones. He's trying to get it in that little purple spot right there. Let's see what he can do. What's up, man? Not bad, not bad. You got to beat him. Come on. Somebody has to beat that. Let's go over here and look at Chris's group real quick. We're going to go over here and look at Chris Fisher and his little group real fast. How's it going, Chris? We're doing good. We're doing good. How's it going, everybody? Don't be so shy of the camera. How are you doing? Good. Oh, Yeah. You guys having fun? We are. We are. we got a competition going right now. We're actually taking off, maintaining a straight line over here. Yep. The surfer. Mark is first, second, third, fourth, and our first round. This is first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and now we're trying it again. And we're doing the same thing, but we're trying to land in that little R in the San Marcos. Sweet. <laughs> All right, let's go over here to Corey's group real quick, and we'll see how these guys are doing. So this, um, you're probably no. Can um, unplug the battery, and then you plug the battery back in. So with most of these, you have to turn the remote on first, and then you turn the remote on. Okay, so 
This one's gonna be a little bit more sensitive. See? <laughs> a little bit more zippy. So just go nice and easy with the throttle. So that's a little summary of what we got going on today. Again, 15 wonderful cadets, Corey, Chris, and myself out here mentoring, doing what we do. Special shout out to San Marcos Air Force JROTC. Character, academics, proficiency, drill, and physical training. Awesome. So a little humor for you guys. We were here flying San Marcos, and we ended up putting a drone up on this ledge up here. So you're on TV, what happened? What are we about to do? We are about to rescue the drone. Who crashed the drone? Sergeant <laughs> Who is that? The guy over there still in the donuts? Sergeant. We are on a rescue the mission to save donut. this drone. He <laughs> wants to save the donut? This guy right here with the homemade lanyard is about to try to save the drone. You got a nice audience? Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. The drone is somewhere up there. Who thinks this is going to work? I didn't think this is going to work. I, I, I believe in you. Let's get it. They believe in you. Let's see what you got, Corey. I mean, if it's too close to that wall, don't even attempt it. No, it's not letting me go up anymore. I'm the same way. I couldn't We've seen this. So even if it's in... I couldn't get over either. I couldn't get over that height. So how do I put it in Addy mode? Because it's in Opti right now. Or no, that's Obstacle, right? I've never messed we, with the different GPS modes. GPS in the position, accuracy in the compromise. Yeah, I'm actually in Addy mode. And what, well, it picked GPS up. Oh, and, it's your Obstacle Avoidance. you got to turn off your Obstacle Avoidance sensor. So in your... Because uh, I'm up high enough, right? Let's see. Can you see scroll it. a little bit, see if you see it? Is that to the left? That might be kind of oh, hard I see it. To... I mean, yeah, don't risk a thousand dollar drone for twenty dollars. You can wait till Monday. Man, there's soccer balls up there, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it, it's it's too close to the wall. Can't get it. Yeah, yeah. Don't risk it. Oh, can you go back oh, so he can see yeah, real quick? Yeah. So it's too close to the wall, so it's gonna have to wait till Monday. Cause otherwise, yeah, it'll hit. But you can come look at it if you want. Everybody, look real quick, and you can see his drone in there. Uh, <laughs> you should take a picture and then we can print it and put it yeah. on his wall. See, see how close it is to the wall. So his props and stuff would hit. So the rescue will be unsuccessful, so we're going to wait till Monday and take the crane or ladder up there.